Welcome to a tutorial on calcitonin, which is released from the thyroid gland. The functions of calcitonin are to decrease blood calcium levels in response to elevations of circulating blood calcium. So in this particular case, we will be considering the thyroid gland itself. And we will be, in particular, considering the parafollicular cells. This specific cell type in the thyroid is responsible for secreting calcitonin. So initially, blood glucose levels, so initially, blood calcium levels are going to increase. And this will be detected by the parafollicular cells in the thyroid. The response is secretion of calcitonin from these parafollicular cells. And calcitonin will then enter the bloodstream and circulate on the highway of blood vessels to bone tissue. where it will have two effects. The first is to decrease osteoclast activity. Osteoclast cells are responsible for breaking down bone and releasing calcium into the bloodstream. The second effect is to increase osteoblast activity. The osteoblasts are the cells in the bone which actively build bone. So they will be taking calcium from the blood and depositing it into the bone itself. So as the calcium is taken from the blood and deposited into the bone, blood calcium levels will begin to fall. This should get us back to homeostasis. If blood calcium levels begin to rise again, the parafollicular cells will respond by secreting more calcitonin, again causing a decrease in osteoclast activity and an increase in osteoblast activity that will ultimately take blood calcium out of the blood and deposit it into the bone. This is another negative feedback loop. In the case of calcitonin, it is a protein-based hormone. Calcitonin can be hypo or hypersecreted. If it is hyposecreted, a patient will develop osteoporosis or a weakening of the bones because too much calcium is leaving the bone. Muscle groups themselves will be hyperexcited. And the patient may experience sensations of anxiety. When calcitonin is hypersecreted, there isn't enough circulating blood calcium, so we get a lethargic heart because the heart requires calcium for contraction. Our smooth muscle activity will also slow because calcium is required for the generation of contractions and we'll get constipation and the skeletal muscles themselves may be weak. This completes the tutorial on calcitonin.